Hi, Lee Phillips here. Yes, I'm still an attorney, and I kind of gave up the suit a while ago, but that's okay. You guys will be all right. I want to answer the question, does a will need to be notarized? And I've done estate planning and written a lot of books about it and this and that and the other, and the answer is no. A will does not have to be notarized. In fact, a notary on a will really doesn't mean anything because in every state, two witnesses, not a notary, two witnesses are required in order to make the will effective. Now this is a, a, a typewritten will, they're holographic wills, those are wills that you write in your own handwriting and all that stuff. But the standard will <coughs> that you're gonna type out, or that you're gonna get from Legal Doom or wherever you get it, is gonna have two witnesses. And those witnesses have to be individuals who aren't related to you. They don't have a dog in the fight, so to speak. They have to be disinterested people. They could be your next door neighbors. Uh, they could be the guy at the bank where the notary is. Oh, we don't need a notary. We need witnesses. Now, on my wills, I have what's called a self-proving provision. And you have the witnesses make a statement which says that they saw you sign it and that, that you said that you were over 18 and that you weren't uh, being forced to make out the will, you were doing it of your own fruition, that you, that you uh, uh, know that you're signing a will and all of that sort of stuff. And then the witnesses sign the statement saying that, uh, that they saw you do the will. Then we do have a notary. And the notary notarizes your signature and the two witnesses. This doesn't validate the will, but it makes it so that we can't, or the state basically, can't question whether the will was properly signed and witnessed. It's called a self-proving provision. Uh, the state, the notary, is a person who acts on behalf of the state. The state agent has actually verified on behalf of the state that the witnesses really did see you sign it and that you really did sign it. So, no, we don't have to have the notary in order to have a will. In fact, a will with a notary is not a valid will. The will has to be witnessed by the two individuals. Then we can have a notary which verifies for the state that the witnesses signed it, that you signed it. That way we don't have to go back and drag the witnesses into court and have them say, did you really see this guy sign the will? You have the state already verifying that they saw you sign the will. So it's a self-proving provision. It isn't a will validation provision. It's just verifying on behalf of the state that you signed the will. Now, the trusts are a little different, and we're not really talking about trusts. We need to do another video on that, I guess. But the trusts are often notarized. They are usually not witnessed. I actually have people uh, witness my trust. That I mean, the guys are there for the will anyway. Let's have them witness the trust California is the only state that says, oh, you need to have two witnesses for your trust. They say a trust is basically a, a, a document which distributes assets after the guy dies. So that's kind of like a will. So California said, okay, we need to have it formalized the same as a will. So in California, you do have to have the two witnesses. I still have the notary, and that's the self-proving provision. But in most states, the trusts are simply notarized. Now, trust doesn't need to be notarized either. All it has to do is be signed. But the notary, there again, is the state's witness saying that, yep, you signed it. And we don't have to go back to court and argue whether or not you signed that document. So. Is it necessary to have a notary on a will? No. Uh, you do need two witnesses. If it's a typed out will, a formal will, 
You don't need two witnesses if it's a holographic will, all in your handwriting, and, and we have other videos on holographic wills. There's certain things you got to do, but, uh, but generally, no, you don't need the notary on the will or the trust. Uh, I have a good ebook out. It's about 14 pages, I think. I actually got somebody who said the other day, this is really good, and it was somebody that I admire a lot. And it teaches you how to use the trust and the will. It's how to use a trust and go ahead, pick that up, just click the button below and don't forget to love us and like us and kiss us and, and uh, subscribe and all of that garbage. But uh, learn how to use your trust and will. It's important and it's easy, you can do it, no problem.